Hello everybody, welcome to a video tutorial for how to play Lightyear by Gregory Allen Isakoff. This is off of his This Empty Northern Hemisphere album from I think 2009. Um, I think it's my favorite of his albums, right right above uh, The Weatherman. Um, I've been getting a lot into his music recently. Uh, he showed up on, I think, Pandora for me, and um, I just, like, I heard, I think it was Amsterdam first, or Suitcase Full of Sparks, but I just, I, like, dialed in to this guy, and... Um, I really like when folk singers, uh, folk singer songwriters are able to craft songs using just simple chords, but just even the, just a little bit of, you know, melody in between the chords on the guitar. Uh, Cat Stevens was really good at that. Um, so I, I dialed right into this guy and started listening to a lot of his music, learned several of his songs on the guitar, and I figured uh, maybe I'll make some tutorials for some of his songs. So. I'm starting with Lightyear. Um, I don't know what I'll do next. Maybe I'll do Amsterdam. I might do Dandelion Wine at some point. Um, we'll just see how it goes. Uh, but for right now, I'm just doing Lightyear. Um, so this song is in standard tuning. So, you know, E, A, D, G, B, E. Uh, normal stuff, don't need a capo for this one. And the song is in G. Um, it's a fairly simple song. You just kind of have to learn this intro riff and the rest are pretty straightforward chords. So if you can get this. You're, uh, you're pretty good. So um, let's dive right in. We're going to go with the intro first. So we're starting on a G. Um, now I like to do my G's with um, the fifth string X muted. Um, I know typical G shapes is three, two, zero, 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 three. But I think adding this low B just makes it real muddy, so I often play my G's without the B. So my G's are always three, X, zero, 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 three. Um, and I'm pretty, this sounds like the way he plays it too. I don't know if I really hear the low B in there. Um, it doesn't sounds more like this, so um, this is just what I'm going with for the sake of argument. Uh, so we start on the G, but um, I, you're going to need to use your ring finger and your pinky for hitting these, this first and sixth string on the G here, because you're going to need your uh, index and middle finger to hit some of these, um, some of these notes back here. So. Um, What's going to happen is you're going to strum the G. So you kind of hit the you hit the G string or the E string that's on a G right now, the sixth string. Uh, basically, it's a G, but you've hammered on um, on the second and third string. You've hammered on one, two. So the chord is now three X zero. Not three. Sorry, three. X, zero, two, one, three. Okay, so think of it as like the lower part of an A minor or something. These two strings here. Um, so, you got... Um, you're gonna hit, hit this G, strum down once. Um, and you're going to bring it to like a G over C kind of a thing. So um, you do this. You're going to let up on that um, third string. So it's now 3x0013. Zero, zero, you're going to replace that, um, that finger on the, uh, what is this, fourth string. Did I say fourth string earlier? I meant third string. So you now have three X uh, two zero one three. It can be pretty muddled back down in here, um, so I wouldn't worry too much about it, because um, just as long as you're basically getting the that's kind of the main melody that you're playing down below. Um, so we got. Gonna kind of go off and on on that uh, second fret there on the fourth string. So again, in slow motion, we got and you just repeat. 
right? So that's kind of it in slow motion. Um, it basically is, I don't know what this chord is exactly. It's almost like a G sus, but with an A in there. To a G over C sort of amalgamation. Um, so just kind of try to focus on this part most of all because the rest are just kind of simple chords um, with the occasional occasional hammer on in there. So if you can get this part down, um, that'd be good. Um, in fact, I'll probably do a part right here where I zoom in on, on the this part of the fretboard so you can see it really clearly. Okay, so here is the intro here. So we got your right there and down here. To those two strings there. So I hope you can see that. Um, if not, I can get a little bit, just a tad closer here for you. Oh my, such a small focal length. Hopefully, hopefully you can see that. Okay, so moving on to the verses. Um, verses are pretty simple. Um, very basic chord progression. We got a G. Uh, my typical G, 3X003. Minor E two two uh, sorry zero two two zero 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 to an A over D. I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with this shape chord shape. It's it's a G over C. We moved up two frets. It's a pretty typical chord. Um, five five four zero three zero down to a G over C, which is three three two zero one zero. So. Um, I'll play through those chords real quick for you, and then I'll try to show you the strum pattern that I got here. Um, so we got... So that's kind of the progression. Um, now this is the strum pattern that we got. Let's see if I can do this for you. On, on that last up strum, you kind of hit only the bottom two or three notes. Um, if you listen to the song, you can hear it. Um, then you kind of bounce back and forth between the lower notes and the higher notes. So again, in slow motion. That's sort of the, the progression right there. Um, now, the way this pattern is gonna go, I believe it go it repeats that twice and then it changes on the third one. Um, so. So it does that three times, and on the fourth time, it starts on the E minor, it goes up to the G, and then it continues the same. So for the fourth repetition, you just switch spots with uh, the e, switch spots with the E minor and the G. Um, so I'll play it uh, once through here for you. again and thankfully when you're in this chord shape 
Your ring finger is already on the string it needs to be. You can take off all the other fingers but the pinky and just move your pinky down. And you're in that in that shape again. So Repeat the intro like that um, four times, and then you go into the second verse. Papers in the trash. And it's, I, I believe, again, another re repetition of four. Um, and then, you know, when you do that last one, and you switch places with the E minor and the G, you have just a light year from us. If you do the intro twice, um, if not, I'll have all the chords, by the way, down in the description. I'll show you how many times to play each progression and each set of chords. Um, so, you you know, anything I say in the video won't be incorrect. Um, so I believe the intro plays twice, and then we're going to go to the chorus. So... The chorus is going to start on a G over C, which is a 3, 3, 2, 0, 1, 0. And then it's going to go to a normal G, which is going to hammer on uh, the second fret on the third string. So it's going to be 3X0003 zero, 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 to 3X0203, zero, zero, and then back down to the, that. So it's, it'll, it'll sound like this. Um, and here's the strum pattern for that. Um. Repeat. So you do the G over C again. Go to an E minor. Da -da -da -da. G, E minor. Da -da -da -da. G over C. E minor, da -da, G. Da -da. So the chorus in total is G over C, G, G over C, E minor, G, E minor, G over C, E minor, G, G over C. Um, it's kind of a lot of chords, but when you play through it, it's okay. Like I said, I'll have everything down in the description. So you'll play the chorus, and then you will go into the intro I believe again uh, four times if I'm not mistaken um, and you'll do the second verse which is structured just the same as the first um, like I said I'll have all this in there uh, and then the last part that you'll need to learn that you don't already know is the bridge um, so after the last chorus so you know, Um, this is going to be an A minor, X0, 2, 2, 1, 0. Um, and then you go to a D, which is X, X, 0, 2, 3, 2. Um, you play this twice. Um, and then here I believe it's a G over C major 7, uh, which is going to be 3, 3, 2, 0, 0, 0, and to an E minor, you do G over C major 7, E minor, G over C major 7, and then that goes back to the intro, which you repeat till the end. So it goes something like... Um,
I really messed up the lyrics there, but you get the idea. I think it just hits the E on on this this low G here. I don't know if it hits the whole chord, if it just hits the G. I'm pretty sure it's just the G. Um, but that's pretty much the the general gist of it. Um, you got the intro, the verses, the chorus, and the bridge, and it ends uh, with the intro there. So, like I said, pretty easy song as long as you can get that intro down. If you can do that, you are you are good. Um, so that has been Lightyear. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Um, if you have any requests for other uh, songs of his, let me know. There's some that I'm still kind of iffy on playing, like Master and, ha and Hound is tough. Um, uh, but I like his music, and um, I'm willing to kind of look into doing more tutorials. I want to I want to keep doing more tutorials because this is the first guitar tutorial I've done in quite a long time, quite a long time. But I want to keep with them because. Uh, they do get a lot of views, they do help a lot of people out, um, and they keep my channel active, and they're not too difficult to do. So, um, like I said, let me know if there's anything else you want to see, um, and I hope this was helpful for you guys. So, uh, I'll see you all later.